Hey guys, welcome back. Drip and Farm for Poppin' I'm your host, Drip Coach, and let's jump right into it. So in today's video, dropping some alpha that I got from the team at OK Exchange uh, regarding this secret cryptic uh, message <laughs> that was dropped by BB about uh, the airdrop. I showed you guys this uh, message. Where the heck did it go? Up here. That's all he put just to share some hype. And then everybody speculating on the airdrop and then showed you in a previous video how you can use Zeely to um, get some points on the airdrop. And that's also in their pinned messages. So I didn't go through that last time. But if you come up here, there was this, um, this Zeely exchange and this is one way to win prizes. I don't know if that's particularly the airdrop itself or just prizes, but this airdrop specifically is what I'm be sharing in this video because uh, as of this video right now, it's Wednesday, but you will be seeing it on Friday and Friday is when I was told from the team that they will be releasing this announcement on the airdrop um, and how you can get in. So first and foremost, I saw multiple people asking not only in the Telegram, but also on my videos about basically what is this? And I covered this in other videos, but clearly it's uh, too complicated or I didn't break it down well enough. So let's try to go back a little bit. So OK Exchange is a DEX on the new Layer 2 X1 platform. So this DEX does not exist yet. What's confusing is this name OK Exchange is also similar to OKX, <laughs> which is the actual centralized exchange um, available on global markets and not within the US. So this is the old school. It's still out there, still running, nothing wrong with it, supported by other countries. And it's basically, this is like a Coinbase. This is a way to think of this. This is like a Coinbase. And this is going to be like a pancake swap. So it's a decentralized exchange. And in addition to this, it's on a new uh, layer two platform. Also, it's going to be running the V4 or similar V4 protocols. So to tie it into like Binance and Uniswap, Binance is running V3. Uniswap V4 is slated for later on this year. And this will be coming out ahead of all of that. So. The easiest TLDR is that this is a new opportunity with a bunch of new narratives for not only a DEX, but also a layer two, new technology on how to do zero knowledge proofs is being integrated into this. And um, one other new that I forgot to mention, but um, it's just an opportunity for you to get, oh, and a new token launched on this. So right now, this will not be available for you guys. Oh, as of this video is not available but I can show you what was shared with me because it is available probably by the time you see this video. So this will be out, you know, around like noontime CST. So the airdrop feature, let's get into it. So here we have it. OKX exchange NFT fundraise. So this is basically doing a um, liquidity drive event, like provide some liquidity to this project so they can launch. So it's uh, like if you're familiar to the last cycle, it's when they used to do some ICOs and things of that nature, but it's done through NFTs and they are going to be whitelisting addresses so that you can get in first come first serve. So the whitelist mint price is 0.18 ETH. Last I checked, that was around like 700, $750, something like that. Let's see real quick. Yep. So as of these prices, $713. So that will secure your spot. And here's the details on what you get from that. So there will be uh, 3,000 NFTs minted at the initial mint price of 0.18 ETH. And then after that, it will be uh, the private sale. So this first come per serve, 0.18. Then the public sale will be 0.2 ETH with a max total cap of 10 NFTs per address. Then each of the 3,000 NFTs, so that's the total amount that's going to be available. There's only 3000 of these. So you're looking at raising just over $2 million in liquidity to jumpstart this, this project. Each of the 3000 are intended to non dilutive equal shares of total swap fee revenue generated. So this means you're going into a liquidity pool. So if you have one, then you're getting one 3000th 
of the swap fees. If you have 10, then you're getting 10 out of, out of 3000 or like one 300th basically. So what that means is if this not if when, cause this is a bull run and a lot of things just pump due to that narrative. But the fact that, like I said, there's a lot of new uh, narratives attached to this. So they are doing uh, some exciting things that will bring some hype into the space. And it's at just like just the right time. So depending on how much swap fees and how much uh, hype comes into this. So let's take a look at what this could be using pancake swap as a kind of litmus test. Now, I can't say that it's going to be identical to that, but at least we have some historic data. Pancake swap grew um, lots of user adoption. You know, it's a number one dex on on uh, Binance. So we don't know what this will be and how it will get picked up. But the narratives are all there. Like I said, bull run, all this other stuff. Right. So anyway, you come over here to DeFi Llama and you can see the uh, fees generated per day, uh, usually on average, it's two right now, 2.1, I'm sorry, 2 million in the last 24 hours. But we can come out to look at PancakeSwap's launch around April 24. So ironically, this was um, kind of similar to where this one's launching. It's uh, April, uh, March, April timeframe. So if we go out to a year later in April, they have over uh, 878 million uh, fees collected. So we can put this into a spreadsheet and just do some math, right? Because all the information is here. Now I'm not saying <laughs> this is what we will get, but it's showing you the power of this opportunity is all I can say. So all I do is show you guys the data and then you decide if it's worth the risk. So remember, you're looking at putting up roughly $700 to participate in this and maybe closer to 800 if you don't get it and it could sell out. But here's what you would potentially looking at pancake swap. So simple math from April 21st to April, uh, April 2021 to April 2022, 3 million is what it started with and 878 million is what it ended with. We can subtract the difference and divide that by 12. So on average, and of course it scaled higher, right? So as it got closer towards the end, you were making more, but this was also in a previous cycle. There's new adoption here, ETFs, all this stuff. So again, take this with a grain of salt. This could be higher, could be lower. But anyway, you're looking at $70 million on average and 20% of that is 14 million. And then if you were to divide that by 3000, a total number of shares, you would be looking at a $4,000 uh, return. Let's just call it five. So anywhere from a potential, not financial advice, <laughs> six, seven, eight X on your return, five X on your return. And then of course it continues to go on and forever. This says seven months into infinity. So you are getting an opportunity to essentially own a portion. This is the biggest piece. So I, I looked at these numbers here, but this is actually where the real potential lies. Cause if this DEX catches on and then OKX, the X1 integration, everything they're doing catches on in this cycle. And we've seen just DEXs, I'm sorry, um, chains in general, EVM chains do pretty well. Everybody, there are multiple different chains and then they all tend to pump a decent amount with at least a couple billion dollars in capital on these extra chains. So the fact that OKX has been here for a while and the fact that uh, the new layer two on there and the V4 version that they're doing just again has a lot of recipes for um, something exciting going forward. So these are the revenues. And then additionally, uh, you will also be receiving each NFT purchase eligible for an airdrop. The number of tokens awarded being based on the randomly assigned rarity. So you're also getting uh, OKXD X tokens based off of the NFT that you mint, the rarity of that NFT. So that's two different, um, what do you call it, benefits for participating in this liquidity fundraising event. And I forgot to mention this here, original mentor, 3% and royalties from secondary sales forever. So if you're not familiar with NFTs, this means that if you decided to buy this, but all of a sudden you needed the money and you sold it, you would be the, if you were the original mentor, you would still receive 3% and royalties off secondary sales forever, meaning you still would benefit even if it's sold again and again and again and again and again. 
And again, if this does really well and grows, this right here makes holding that NFT very, very attractive. You're getting an opportunity to be a shareholder in a brand new DEX from the ground up. And, you know, brand new narrative and all this stuff at the hype of this cycle, blah, blah, blah. Lots of money coming in. People will FOMO into different areas within crypto. So I undoubtedly believe that some of it will spill over into here. And BB has proven to be competent uh, within development. And uh, from what I had talked to him way back in the day, the people he was putting together and stuff like that. And this is uh, separate complete compared to that. He still has his own project supposedly that he's working on, but um, clearly being a part of this shows his competence and intelligence. So something to look out for. So in theory, you will see in this video or um, if it's not in the description now, it'll be there later. So check back. There should be a whitelist uh, link to put in your address if you want to participate in this. I will be putting mine down, <laughs> scrape together some couch cushion chains to at least get one NFT. I'm not going ham and going big. I got burned from Tom Bilyeu's NFT stuff, so I still am jaded from NFTs. But um, let's see, influencers who want to participate in the private sale round need to provide a whitelist if it's like users. That's what I'm talking about. You will see that link in this video. If it's not there now, it'll be there later. And for each NFT purchased by an address on whitelist, the influencer is tied with a complaint 250 OKXD okay dx tokens so for every one of you that use my link i will be rewarded with okay dx and um that's something that i'll figure out how to incentivize you guys and provide that back you guys know that i'm trying actually to create something within my value that i i do on content creation to actually reward the people spending the time to watch my videos so this isn't something i would just like take and dump on the community or something like that uh, cause I believe yeah, you make more money in the long run by helping more people get their weight up basically. And then there will be the public sell round where you'd be able to create your own personal referral link. And then for that, you will own the same, earn the same 250 OKDX tokens. So this is huge opportunity. It's the best I can say. So, uh, keep an eye out and remember it is first come first serve on the whitelist. So. If you do not get your name down, and then if you do not also purchase that, then you will have to purchase it on the public sale. And once this runs out, that's a wrap. And I just showed you guys the numbers. So this could be a very, very huge opportunity, especially once you move into this. So even if these numbers I just showed you don't happen initially, but it gets there later, and it'd be half of this, let's say it gets to this and then now you're getting 10%, that's still $7 million from that. And you own one of those NFTs. So that is basically $2,500 that you would get forever. That is literally somebody's job um, per month, you know, in some places, or at least a bi-weekly salary, a decent bi-weekly salary still, you know, that's 60 grand a year if you were making that bi-weekly. So um, keep an eye out on this and hopefully in this video, you will see a link and I would not financial advice, but uh, I wouldn't sleep on this because at a minimum, if you get in, you could mint it and then even resell it. So it all depends. Okay. The, the risk side, of course, it all depends on adoption. All depends on how Safu things are, if there's any hiccups, but we did see. So using again, uh, history as a litmus test, we saw Solana had multiple outages, multiple issues, multiple FUD tied to um, um, Sam Bankman Freed and his scam, and it's doing just fine now. So that leads me to believe that this can have some legs as well. And the fact that it's a DEX is pretty cool. So if you could have got in and been a liquidity provider and owned a share of Uniswap or PancakeSwap, um, if you go back, you probably would. So I think this is something to keep an eye out on. All right, that was long enough. Hope that gave some clarity, some insight, let you guys know what's going on. And if so, smash that HBO special, help brother out, like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. 
Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.